All right, guys, welcome back. Today's topic is a favorite of mine and Kirby. We're going to be talking about why we don't help people financially. <laughs> no. It's his. Whichever way no. direction, it's his. It's his favorite topic. <laughs> so this one, uh, I have to say, you know, I, I don't, as Kirby pointed at me. Yes, you are correct. But I don't because I learned from the sensei not to do it. And uh, there's many reasons why, but Kirby, I'm going to hand it off to you. All right. When it comes to finances, and this is a question I get all the time. I mean, I get I get phone calls from some of the obscure places on earth, and they think that because I sit there and I talk about finances, not even on YouTube, in social circles and things like that. I talk about finance, personal finance, you know, how to make money, deals that I'm doing. They think think that that means that I'm an open source bank for them. Instead of taking the information and running with it and doing it and replicating what I'm saying, they just look at it as, oh, I have somebody else to call. And I mean, I get phone calls from people I haven't talked to 20, 30 years, people that has no business calling me in the first place. I mean, of course I get the calls from families and friends also. But Alex, you can attest to this. There's nobody that I'm around, no one that I'm around that I'm not willing to give the information to. But with me, also, you know about me is I believe my time is more valuable than any dollar I can ever give. So when you waste the most valuable thing that I have is time, then you not getting my money. The first time you wasted the most valuable thing, shame on me. But now... You think I'm about to waste my money on you also. Now it's really shame on you. Because it don't matter what form, what platform, where I'm at. If somebody stopped me and talked to me about finance. I'm willing to give them all the time in the world to change their life. Get their life better. Make their family treat better. But that don't give you an open invitation to call me and say, Hey, well, I got this financial situation. Can you help me out? And for the love of God, people, stop thinking that you calling me with a deal that's better than anything I ever heard. You can't call me and say, hey, let me borrow and give you 10 percent uh, interest. No, the reason why you're calling me is because you can't call the bank and get 8 percent interest. There's a reason why you can't call the bank, and get 8 percent interest, 6 percent interest, 5 percent interest. It's because your credit is shot. So you won't even take care of yourself to make sure that your credit score is good. So you want to pay back your obligation. So you think that I think you're going to pay me back. That's the amazing thing out there. And I'm not an open, you know, an open financial institution to let people borrow money. So that's why I don't give to people that I know, because I know for a fact, if you know me, then we've talked about this thing called debt. We've talked about this thing called personal finance. We talked about ways to make money. I know we have, and it can be nobody that say they know my name or they've had a conversation with me that we didn't talk about. It. So if you chose not to listen, then shame on you. But I'm not going to be financing your stupid decisions because only person that's going to lose in that endeavor is me. So that's why I don't just open handedly give to people that I know. Now, again, in another video, as I explained, I do give money. I give money to organizations, charities. Uh, people that I don't know, people that's in bad situations. I literally, sometimes I scour my hometown newspaper and I'm just reading, I just read the news, read the news. And then I come across a story that, you know, sucks. And then I will reach out to the editor. I will reach out to the person that uh, did the story or if they have contact information down at the bottom of the story, I will reach out to them and send the money anonymously. But I don't, the people that know me, they don't get that feature because they know what they need to do. They just figure to dismiss what I said and just thought that they can just catch me on the back end and give me a sob story. And I don't put emotions when it comes to money. Yeah. Yeah, completely. Um, the, the time thing is a big one for me too, because it's the same thing with me. Most people that know me, they know that they can ask me. And it gets annoying when people do waste your time because, you know, in a sense, it's almost like affecting it for others because so many people waste your time. And then it's like, why am I even going to make the effort to try and 
help the next person that asks me. Um, but the knowledge is the key. It's not the money handout. I mean, especially for the viewers, like, I don't know if this is just something that people think like, oh, you, you know, you just need handouts, but I've never received a penny from Kirby and everything that I've been able to build just off of the knowledge. Yeah, I received sushi from Kirby, but, <laughs> but the, uh, the knowledge or the knowledge and the application of that knowledge has been the sole reason why I have what I have today. It's not any money handouts, any donations, none of that. And if people would just not be lazy and see the value in that, because that's all I was looking for when I started my financial journey was a blueprint. I was looking for a blueprint. Like I knew how to manage my money. I knew how to not go into consumer debt. I knew to avoid it. I knew to save my money but i had no blueprint as to what i needed to do to get off the ground and start accelerating from there but once i had it it was like you know it was like the world was in my hands and people need to have that same way of thinking if they want to be truthfully financially successful because if your money depends on someone else giving it to you then you're just poor you're going to be poor your whole life and You'll never figure out how to escape yourself and take care of your family. I mean, if you're depending on somebody else's money, that's that's a horrible spot to be in. Right. And, and Alex, the, the thing that when you said it is teaching people how to do it. Like I get calls all the time. Hey, can you manage the money for me? Can you do it for me? Alex, as you know, I refuse to manage anybody else's money. It's because like the parable says, you Give a man a fish, he eats for a day. You teach a man a fish, he can eat forever. I look at it as if I'm managing your money, your whole life dependency is dependent on me. I can go rogue any day. I can be the next, uh, who was the guy? I can be the next Bernie Madoff. I can just be <laughs> like, no, nah, I ain't got time for this. I'm just going to oh, waste their money. They don't, they don't know what the hell they're doing. I can just take <laughs> their money and they won't have a clue. I can do that. But why would why would you want your life dependent on somebody else? The reason why is because first, as you said, lazy, they don't want to learn it themselves. But the second one is they want to have somebody to blame when it doesn't go right. They want to say, oh, yeah, Kirby lost my money. I would have had a whole bunch of money, but Kirby lost. Mm -hmm. you know, I will teach you what to do. You make the decisions on your own. And then if you fail, it's because of your lack of failure. Or your lack of uh, ambition to actually learn and put it into practice. I don't go on autopilot. I don't sit here and be like, hey, everybody, you need to buy this stock. I will point out sometimes, hey, these got good fundamentals, but you need to look at it. You need to look at the conference calls or whatever. I talk about real estate. I say, hey, this looks like a good deal. You might want to jump on it. And then we go through the numbers. But I'm not going to call you and just be like, hey, Alex, you need to go do this deal because this, 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 and run the whole gambit down. Hey, look at this. Now, you go find out the information that that you need to know to make it a good deal for you. Just because it's a good deal for me, we're all in different situations. I can sit there and grab a property that's, that's just break even, and then I can, you know, I have time to put, you know, investments into it to make it a cash flow pop positive property. But somebody that's just starting out, they don't have that ability. So just because I'm doing it, that don't mean that that somebody else should be doing the same deal. And I barely, I rarely have ever buy a, a cash neutral property, but still, either way. But that's that's what it is. It's everybody's financial journey and financial responsibility is their responsibility. It's not mine, it's not Alex, it's not Dave Ramsey, it's not Robert Kiyosaki. Because the truth of it is, we're still gonna make money if you listen or not. And then the only thing that will be is people you talk about, oh man, they doing good, but they won't help nobody out. No, you got the help, but you just chose not to use it. Sorry, I didn't help you the way your poor mindset thought that I should help you, but you was helped. The help that you needed, but you didn't want to take it. So shame on you, not shame on us. And that's the real reason why I choose to give my money for the people that's unknowledgeable, the people that I don't have 
that don't have the ability to have access to me, the the ability, the people that don't have the ability to overcome that situation that they're in right then, right now. But for everybody else, you've been well prepared. You didn't been beat over the head by me about talking about personal finance. Like Dave Ramsey always say, Dave's going to become a four-letter word. I'm a four-letter word in people's eyes. I mean, I got, I got, I literally got people that I was in the military with, you know, you talk to their wives and they'd be like, they'd be like, man, he always, he, the only thing he talk about is getting out of personal debt and, and, you know, building money, building a legacy and having money. And then their spouses are like, well, I'm just so used to debt. That's all I want. Okay. So when you're in those situations where you need somebody to bail you out, don't call me because you already got my time. You're not getting my money. Cause it's really not my money. I'm just a steward for, for the generations after me. So I'm not giving it to you thinking that, oh, it's all fine and dandy and good. So that's why I keep my money in my pocket and the restaurant's pocket. Cause that's where I spend money at. <laughs> With all that being said, guys, hit the like button, leave us a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.